Today I am taking you through our Bumblebee Face Care Travel Kit uh, range just to show you how easy it is to use and in what order and how you should use it. So if you've got dry or mature skin, this is the range we recommend. Um, the kit, which comes in a handy uh, cotton travel bag, includes the Bumblebee uh, Cleansing Balm, which is in here. You'll see that beautiful cover. Um, it includes the Bumblebee Face Spritz and also the Bumblebee Face Oil. And separately, we do a Bumblebee Face Cream travel size, uh, which on occasion we will throw in there. So you have the full range to try. So we would use these products. This would be, um, I'll take you through what we'd use in the evening. The kit is what we would use in the evening, which is when you need the main cleansing of your face after the end of day with makeup, dirt, pollution, heating, oil, etc. And in the morning, we'd recommend um, substituting the cleansing band for one of our honey soaps, a more gentle cleanse. You don't really need the um, deep cleanse of a cleansing balm in the morning. So in the morning we would use um, the honey soap, um, the spritz, a few drops of the oil and the cream for layering for dry skin. So I'll just take you through the evening routine so you know particularly how to use the cleansing balm and spritz and also the oil. So firstly, I'll take you through what's in the cleansing balm. It's all 100% natural ingredients. And the aim of it is that you can do a deep cleanse of your skin with a deep tissue massage uh, without drying it. So this is, includes coconut oil, shea butter, calendula, super healing, um, red clay for very, very fine exfoliation and um, rose and patchouli smells delicious. So I'll show you how to use it. So because it's got the red clay in it, it is quite pigmented. So I'd recommend a dark face cloth, otherwise it might stain. Um, reusable, of course. And what you would do to start with is all of our products are helped if your face is just slightly damp um, and warm because it starts opening the pores up. So rinse your cloth in warm water and then just lay it over your face for a minute. And the steam will just start loosening dirt and opening up your pores. And then with your little tool that comes with it, just scrape a little bit of the balm um, and the warmth of your hands and skin will warm it up. So take a little bit of the balm like that, rub it between your fingers first, and then start working it in in circular motions. Oh, the smell is amazing. So what all this will do is it will break down the dirt on the surface of your skin. The action of circular motions will bring the blood flow underneath the skin, helping to remove toxins and flush all the lymph out of your face to reduce puffiness as well. So always if you work up towards the ears and down, that will help the lymph flow and get the lymphatic drainage and all the blood will flow nicely so it looks a little bit like you've gone overboard on the tan but it will come off I promise. So when you've worked that round for a minute or so just re-warm your, your face cloth and I always recommend doing this rinsing process twice to make sure you really cleanse everything off the surface of your skin so Dampen it again first and then gently wipe upwards to remove the product. And then rinse that and do it a second time. By breathing in those essential oils, you also get the therapeutic, so it's like an aromatherapy. Okay. And of course, don't forget your neck as well. I always do the back of my neck as well. Surprising how much dirt builds up there. Okay, so now your face is cleansed. 
I then tend to do a double cleanse because I've got quite open pores. So unless I double cleanse, it's very easy for things to collect in my pores. So for this, I use the spritz. So if you've got, haven't got a problem with open pores and your pores are quite closed and you've just got the dry skin, all you would do oh, is spritz that over your skin. So this one is um, organic orange water, aloe vera is very soothing and calming and also palm free glycerin. So it adds hydration, it adds moisture to the skin. And if like me, you've got open pores, then I use a reusable pad and then just gently wiping up with strokes to thoroughly cleanse the surface and make sure nothing is left on the surface of the skin. You gently wipe all towards the direction of the upper ear. And then upward motions and then down towards this is the second drainage area for the lymphs so you'll see that there was still some on the surface so that's why i like to do the double cleanse so your face at this point will feel cleansed it'll feel um, nice and hydrated you've got all that extra hydration from your spritz and then to finish off this evening routine just take a couple of drops of the face oil so this is designed to be super rich uh, in terms of hydration with the moisture rich base oils. So you'll see just three or four drops. And this has got avocado, rose hip, which is amazing for regeneration of the skin cells and a little bit of myrrh. So you just want to pat that in the face. You don't want to drag it. Also, don't forget the neck. Back of hands is always a good one to include as well. So just tap that in nicely. And then that concludes, oh, um, I would all, also always add a few strokes of queen bee under eye. So as you can see, I suffer with bags under the eye. So just got a lovely cooling metal roller ball on that, full of oils, which have got natural anti-inflammatory properties and argon for, hydro for um, moisturization. So I'd always put this in with a tapping motion, tap, 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 to help, again, remove that puffiness. Like that, and I finish off just putting it over the eyebrows, the castor oil in it, which really helps with hair regrowth. Um, so that is the evening routine. Now to take that to a daytime routine, as I said before, you just replace the cleansing balm with a honey soap. Um, or you could just use water. You really don't need to use anything intensive in the mornings. And then for the daytime, I would just finish that off with a little bit of cream. I can layer up for dry skin. So our cream uh, here is one of our best sellers here. It's our face cream with cocoa butter, a bit of beeswax, so it acts as a barrier stopping you losing moisture. Um, and the smell is just wonderful. Rose geranium in there again. So again, rub it between your hands and then just Pot it on, you don't want to drag the skin at all. Include the neck and back of hand, I always do those. Ah, oh, the smell is delicious. That will really protect your skin in the daytime. You'll feel lovely and moisturised. The last step I always do include of a daytime is just to put a tiny bit of sun, uh, all natural and um, broad spectrum against UVA, UVB just tapped over the top of that just to give extra protection um, against sun damage. And there you have it. That's the use of the routine. I hope you enjoy your products. And if you've got any questions, just get in touch um, in, with the link below. Okay, take care.